Good morning. Happy Easter. It's one of my favorite days to stop and reflect on the goodness of God, what his heart intent is for us and has been from the dawn of eternity was to set us free and to rescue us. And oftentimes when we talk about Easter, we do refer to it as a miracle, what took place that day. And uh, I was doing a devotional this week by Eugene Peterson. If you guys know who he is, he's the one that translated the Bible into the message message version. And I really love a lot of what he does. But um, it was a long devotional, but I'm just going to read this piece of it. And it says this, miracles through the biblical tradition is not what we don't understand, but what is done for us that we can't do ourselves. Miracle is functional. It's what God does for us or does for us through other people that we can't do ourselves. It's possible you could understand it, but even if you did, that wouldn't make it stop being a miracle. The word does not mean that that which is beyond our comprehension, but rather that which is beyond our ability. So in that way, I can, when I walk out in the morning and see the sun coming up over the horizon, say, that's a miracle. And I would be biblically correct. Every morning is a miracle. And what Christ did truly is, is nothing that we could have done on our own. We could not earn our salvation. We still can't. We could not earn his forgiveness. We still can't. He freely and willingly offered himself to prove to us once and for all that he loved us no matter what, regardless of what we've done or what we ever will do. The celebration today is just that he paid that ultimate price for our freedom. Now we're free. Now we're free to walk out every morning and say, man, this is going to be a miraculous day. Because things are going to happen that I can't do myself, that only he can do, that he, only he can provide, that only he can uh, uh, speak and whisper to my heart so that I know the direction to go in. Every day is a miracle. And as much as Easter is wonderful and it's a day to reflect, it's one of my favorite. Man, if we wake up every morning saying, today is a good day. Today is a miraculous day because my Christ, my Father, he set me free for just this day. And so we live abundantly and aggressively in love to all those that we come in contact with. So we're just really quickly going to take up our tithes and offerings. And if you uh, need an envelope, we have those in the back. But if you guys will just stand with me, we're just going to come before him in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you that uh, uh, not only is today miraculous, that what we're celebrating, but every day that you provide us is a miraculous day. And we approach every day with grateful, grateful hearts. And today, Heavenly Father, we just all pause and reflect on exactly what it is that you did for us and what that truly means and that it means that you have paid a price for our freedom to enter into a complete and and no strings attached relationship with you heavenly father you love us unconditionally you love us regardless of our performance you just simply love us and may we approach you today with grateful and thankful hearts for all that you've done in your name I pray Amen.